Welcome to Hay on Haven. I'm Dawn. This channel is dedicated to the study of the history, literature, clothing, and culture of Heian, Japan. It's a haven for my special interests and pet research projects, and I'm so glad you've joined me. Today, we set out on our first project, centered on the tale of Genji, or Genji Monogatari. Let's dive right in. I wanted to read the tale of Genji for years, and for the longest time, I put it off. I'll admit to being intimidated by it, I've started reading the tale multiple times and listened to the LibriVox recording of the Suematsu translation more than a dozen times now. Recently, I finished the Washburn translation's audiobook. I'm more hooked now than I ever was before, and I'm terribly excited to finally start this project. So, why now? Let me be honest about that too. I initially started this project back in 2020, but I set it aside for a sewing and weaving project with a hard deadline. I completed that project, and then I didn't come back to this one until now. The time has simply come, but I don't intend to do this alone. I invite you on a journey of discovery as we read and learn from the tale of Genji together. Let's discuss the scope of the Genji project. The initial idea was to pull the clothing references from the text. I have this niche interest in making the clothing worn by the noble women of the Japanese court. In fact, the project I put this one aside for was creating a suboko shuzoko, a traveling outfit appropriate to a noblewoman of the mid to late Heian period to wear on pilgrimage. I want to pull the references from Genji for my continuing research because, as Tyler says, its careful attention to matters of costume is famous. I'll make a video, likely several, on the period's clothing later. After mulling this Genji project over for longer than I care to admit, I realized it would be a waste to study the text as carefully as I intended to and not do more with it. So I broadened the scope of the project to include poetic, seasonal, and cultural references in addition to the clothing references. The new and improved plan is this. I'm reading five translations of Genji, Suematsu, Wailing, Seidenstecker, Tyler, and Washburn. Yes, at the same time. I'm hoping this will maximize my understanding. Washburn wrote, it is only through multiple translations of brilliantly complex and historically influential narratives like Genji Monogatari that we can get at a source work in another language. There is a great deal to be learned from the subtle and not so subtle differences between translations. I also hope to make the project more approachable for you this way. Pick the translation you like or have access to and join in. I've listed all of my sources in the description box below. I'll make a video for each chapter where we'll compare the translations, talk about the plot, discuss some of the seasonal and cultural references, and specifically examine color in regards to clothing. And then there's poetry. Poetry in Heian Japan was a fundamental part of court culture. It deserves its own space. So I decided to make a concurrent series with our Genji project, Waka Wednesdays, Waka meaning poem in Japanese. On alternating Wednesdays, I'll share and discuss a poem from our current research project and one I write inspired by the week's reading. The Genji Monogatari contains 795 poems to explore in 54 chapters. Let's talk about timing. In a previous iteration of this project, I thought I could manage a chapter a week and in a little over a year would have read the tale of Genji and finished the project. That would be fine if I was just reading it but it's too much work teasing out the references to fit into just a week and make a video. So I'm aiming for a chapter every two weeks. This means the project will take just over two years to complete. At the end, I'll have not only read, but truly examined the tale of Genji and should have a database of poetic terms, copious notes on clothing, and a deeper understanding of the Heian period. It should be fun and a decent challenge. Next time, we'll get started with some background information and a comparison of the introductions to give us all shared context as we begin our first project together, reading the Genji Monogatari, the Genji Project. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Subscribe if you'd like to explore the Han period of Japan with me through the tale of Genji. <laughs>